I just want to. F- I just hate my life after watching that movie. Like that was depressing as. F- it's tough to watch at times. Shocking, disturbing. There's imagery in this that is disturbing. Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Movies Worth Seeing. Today's episode, I'm again joined by regular mainstay. Um, well, I try to get rid of him, but he he keeps coming back like that dog that just <laughs> keeps coming back. <laughs> Stop throwing a stick. <laughs> um, now I'm joined by Addy Asia for another review today. Today's episode, uh, look, we're going to do spoilers because it's kind of difficult. I feel like this movie is something that we could do a review in like five minutes with, if we don't talk about spoilers. Mm. Uh, Civil War. There was a lot of mystery going into this. I expected a war film. This kind of is a war film, but it's also like the soldiers are not the main characters. And I've love that you know what i was actually thinking we always see a movie where we follow the protagonist and they're the hero but how about we're doing about the accountant that has to deal with all the shit that superman leaves behind but now we're watching a, a like a war movie where it's not about the soldiers it's not about the president it's not about anybody of significance it's about the common the common man like the average person yeah almost like a civilian exactly but then the war journalists that. right yeah. and i think that's beautiful because You get the information that they are given. So watching Civil War, we took my mum to watch it. (laughs) Ooh, big mistake. Um, My mum is like a very traditional movie watcher and she loves movies with like a strong hero, strong villain and lots of context. Like she wants to know everything going on. This movie establishes that there's a Civil War and that's it. President is locked up in the White House trying to protect himself. These journalists are trying to get an interview with him. That's it. It almost becomes like the movie becomes like an empty vessel where you're like, what's the point of this? What is the point of war? All war is pointless. Is that what? That, but that's, that, that's what I love about the movie. It gives you that same experience. It leaves you with images you didn't expect to see in a big screen. There's so much going on that you just get lost. You don't know who's on what team. And when you're trying to survive, it just doesn't matter anymore. And that's the experience you have in war. Well, not that I would know, but... Back in Nam, when I was in Nam. You don't know what it is going on. And that's the beautiful thing. That's the experience this movie is giving you. And that's what I loved about it. I, I get that. But as a movie watcher... I do kind of feel empty afterwards. And like just you saying the movie's point is to make you feel that way doesn't make me feel any better. It just keeps (laughs) me feeling that same way. There's one scene in particular getting into spoilers where Jesse Plymouth, his scene stands out because it's the only time where you see one character have a very distinct kind of viewpoint. What kind of American are you? You don't know? <laughs> it's the only time in a movie where it's clear who is right from wrong. But who is he with? Is he with the Western forces or is he with the president? Yeah, we don't get... Exactly! That's what I'm talking about. You know who's right from wrong, but you don't know which side is right and which side is wrong. You don't know what side they're fighting for. Someone's trying to kill us. We are trying to kill them. Okay, so there is, um, it is given that the president is wrong and the Western forces are right. But everything that happens in between, you don't, you can't, you can't separate the two. It just feels weird, like in Fallout. Imagine if like you never found out any answers about why the world has become like that. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't you feel like kind of like empty? Well, it's a different structure. It's a different story. With Fallout, for example, it's important for the main character to learn what happened because that creates a divide between her and the other characters. That makes it it's vital, which is going to be crucial for the second season, right? Mm-hmm. In Civil War, you don't need to know why. You just need to know it's f- up. Well, 
there was plenty of f***ed up scenes in this, for right. sure. There's reasons why I wouldn't want to watch this again. And I'm, I'm surprised you wanted to watch it a second time. I loved it a second time even more than the first. There are so many little things that I missed. It's actually really interesting. Like, li just little lines. Like, for example, Kirsten Dunst's Lee says, I went to the Intifada and uh, went to all these wars. I survived all of that to tell home, to bring it home, to tell them not to repeat this at home as a warning. And then there's another line um, saying, once Washington is down, they're going to turn on each other. That's the end of the movie. It's not the end of the war. That's the beautiful thing. You don't know. It's not, a, it's, not about the, it's not about the war. It's not about the political aspect of the war. Like it's, it's disguised as, as being about war to kind of hook people in of like, oh, there's going to be like action and like explosions and this shit. Oh, there are. There is, <laughs> but everything's got this realistic grit to it where it, it's pretty much what you would expect an A24 produced movie to be, like a big budget A24 movie. But the interesting thing is like, like the stuff you're talking about, like having that empty feeling and stuff like that. That's such an art house thing to do. Look, it's not a typical Hollywood structure movie. And I understand you think it's art housey and artsy kind of stuff, giving that emotional experience because yeah, it is about creating an emotional experience and not just beginning, middle, climax, end. Hero wins. Um, it's more of, it's more about the message than the explosions and the visual storytelling. It's just different from any other movie where it's just for entertainment. This is kind of like a bit of a wake-up call. It's like, get your head out of your f***ing ass. It sure is set in the near future, and it seems so far away, but this is reality. One thing that I did really enjoy was Kirsten Dunst does a great job of getting across someone who's seen some shit, been through some stuff. There's no happiness or joy in that. Like, you see that she's... Disconnected. Dis disconnected. Dis and there's moments, really disturbing moments that happen in this where you're like, oh my God, that's how she's going to react to people dying around her. Every time I survived the war zone, I thought I was sending a warning home. Don't do this. But here we are. Um, yeah. Any... Uh one specific moment that you're like, wow, this was amazing or wow, this is horrible. I think my favorite part of the movie was Jesse Plemons' scene because it was like clear good versus evil. There was a lot of horrifying implications without anything being said. Like we see this pit with all these dead bodies and your first thought is like, did they kill all these people? And the mystery around it not being solved of like, why were they killing people? Also seeing the character Sammy like step in and save them. That was like the first moment where I'm like, oh, they're not completely like lacking humanity. There's still some life left mm. in them because you've got this old guy who's like, I know this is going to get me killed, but shit, I'm going to do it anyway. Get in the car! Well, with that said, zero to five stars, what would you give it? It's so well made and it looks so great and the sound design is amazing. And there are some great moments with these actors, but you don't get a satisfying feeling by the end of this. I'd say three and a half. The performances are great. Like all the ingredients are there for a great movie, but man, this could have been something so much more. I love the way it portrays war in like a realistic gritty way and gets across the intensity of reaching a point where you actually want to leave the scene. You're kind of like, I'm done with this scene. Can we please get out of here? Almost like you're feeling that discomfort that the journalists would feel from being in this situation. So that's great. But just as a story, there's nothing for me to latch on to. It just, ah, it's so weird. It's so hard to describe. It's like it has this controversial premise, but it just doesn't, do anything really that memorable with it other than like the one scene that everyone talks about with Jesse Plemons. 100%. I'm going to give it a four and a half stars. This movie is not afraid to set the message 
as the most important and prominent attribute of the movie. It's not a story about the character. It's a story about the situation, the circumstance that they find themselves in. And it's not about the, the past or the future. It's about what's happening right now, the chaos you're finding yourself in the, and, and, and the way you're trying to work yourself out of it. That's what this movie is about. And I think it did an excellent job in leaving the audience confused, unsatisfied, uh, with a good running start and an abrupt finish. The three moments I would say that take the fifth star off is the death of Lee. It's because she pushes Jesse to the ground and then in a line of fire and then remains standing to catch all the bullets. And like, no, you do like freaking jump, grab him and, and, and just drop together to the ground. That's 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 that, what be, anybody would do. So that, that's dumb. The more I think about it though, what if Lee just had given up and reached the point that, where she just wants to die because she's like, I don't want to keep doing this anymore. I mean, that's the only justification I could see for it, but I, I don't like it because it doesn't make I, sense. I, yeah, like I didn't like it more so because of the way Jesse reacts. That's funny oh, that I you love, don't like it because of the way Lee reacts to I her love own the way death. Jesse reacts. I love the way Jesse reacts because that's exactly... But that reaction has been set up at yeah. fuel station. I'm never going to freeze up again. It has a second setup at the um at the helicopter where it's like will you make a photo of me when i die and lee says what do you think of course i would and then this is then the payoff jesse makes a photo of lee dying that's that's perfectly set up and paid off i understand you don't like it because it doesn't make sense because you would try to help someone that's that's the most rational thing you would do but these people live for the thrill that's a different mentality um, yeah, and maybe that is the point, is that I can't exactly. understand their circumstances because I've never been in, in those circumstances where I'm totally desensitized to being in a war. The second bit, I, w I didn't, wasn't a big fan of it, is the death of Sammy. Where did the bullet come from? How did he get shot? Like, the shot is behind the aluminium. The bullet came from behind, but he got shot from the front. And if he got shot from the front, it would have gone through the window but the gun was lower than the window and the window was intact and it would not have gone through the hood or the dashboard or otherwise it would have gone through the wheel. Uh, or through the engine. So that could have worked. It's like, so where did the bullet come from? That was very weird. He, he should have been shot in the, in, in the shoulder. And the third bit that I was, I was really weird, which was a very artsy moment, is right after that, they were driving through like a forest fire and you had that them sitting in a car at night and all the little flames coming by the car. And it's just like, do you remember the scene? It's in yeah, the yeah, I actually liked that. No, it looks beautiful, but mm. it's the rhythm of it is so different. It felt out of place. I like what it represented of like, 100%. even in this chaos, there's some kind of weird beauty. Uh, well, yeah, 100%. I get it. Like, I get this. I get why that cutscene was there. But just the rhythm of it, the color of it, it just felt out of place to me. Oh, okay. You know what I was disappointed by? That we didn't see a, um, after they shoot the president, it would have been great if they like all kind of stood on the president's dead body and like took a photo, like, <laughs> like all smiling, like we did it. And the journalists are like, anyway, you can make the right choice by like, sharing and subscribing to this video. Yes. And comment below, did you like did you like Civil War or you didn't like Civil War? What were some of your thoughts? One comment to five below. stars. One to five stars. Comment below what you would give it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now we've got to work out a thumbnail for this.